Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot, and in today's WordPress tutorial, you'll learn how to make a custom WooCommerce shop page using only the free version of Elementor. So if you're tired of your standard WooCommerce shop page looking like this, and you want to customize it in Elementor and get it looking something more like this, then keep watching. Now, I know what you're thinking. The free version of Elementor doesn't even have any WooCommerce elements. They're all locked to the pro version. And it doesn't include the theme builder, so we can't edit the shop page anyway. But we can work around these issues using only free plugins. Now, for this tutorial, we're using Astra as our theme, and I've set up the free mountain template. You can get that over at wpastra.com and just set that up through WordPress using um, add your theme and search for Astra search for this one called mountain when you install it in your starter templates but that's all pretty easy once we've done that we can customize that in elementor i've already done that and this is what i've come up with it's sort of a demo site that could be used for say an optometry website so and i've set up a customized shop here and i've installed woocommerce and we've just got the standard woocommerce pages on here so that's that standard kind of ugly looking standard woocommerce shop page the standard shop page, if you go slash shop, it'll end up looking something like this. It's not the most attractive thing in the world. And if you try to edit with Elementor in the free version, you're not going to have any luck doing that because it's just not going to work. You can try clicking edit with Elementor there. It doesn't even load. And you can even try going to your pages menu in the, in the dashboard and editing with Elementor and you'll find that it just gives you an error and it won't even load at all. So you get this error, but we're not completely out of luck. So let's get started on working around this issue. First thing we'll do is go to plugins and we're going to add a new plugin and we're going to search for Elementor in here. And once you've searched for Elementor, you'll see that Elementor is obviously the number one choice, but the number two choice here is essential add-ons for Elementor. Now this is a free add-on plugin for Elementor and you get loads of free elements for Elementor. And one of these is very useful for WooCommerce. You can see it already has 600,000 active installations. It's growing really fast. I definitely recommend checking it out. So you basically just click install and activate. I've already done that. But once you've done that, you can go back to Elementor and check out what the difference is. So I've already made this custom page in Elementor called products. Now I'm going to load that up in Elementor and show you what that looks like. Now, as I mentioned before, as we're using the free version of Elementor, if we go to WooCommerce, we'll notice that all of the WooCommerce elements are locked. You need the pro version to use them, but we have just installed the essential add-ons. So there we go. We've got all these new free elements. And if we scroll down and look at product, we can find that we've actually got a product grid included here for free and we can totally use this to build a free shop page. All we need to do is make a new section and drag this product grid into it. So I'll just delete that section I just made. Let's click the plus on the top of a section to make a new section and drag that product grid in and you'll end up with something just like this. So by default, that's what it looks like, four columns. You've got stars there for the reviews the price and the add to cart button. Now we can customize that a bit and it does have a few different styles here pre-built. So we have simple style, which is what it's on now. I think simple style is probably the best. And we've got reveal style. So the reveal style, when you hover it, the add to cart button pops up, which is kind of cool. And we've got the overlay style. So the overlay style, as we go over it, the add to cart button will pop up there. So I don't really like this one as much. I quite like the simple style, to be honest add to cart button there. Let's go ahead and customize this a little bit. Now, the first thing we obviously can do is change the number of products that we display. So we can limit it to say two products and that will limit it down to two. Now, we obviously are gonna have more than two products in most stores. So you can actually make like a fairly high number if you wanted to display a lot of products, say 20. And it's not gonna display all of them because we only have uh, four products in this store. But let's say we only had three columns. So there's three there and then one there. So rather than having three columns and then one popping down there, we could actually use a load more button as well. So have a show the load more button and that pops a load more button down there. And then if you had an unusual number of products, you could just limit it to say three or six or nine. And then let's limit it to three here in this example. And then if we wanted to load the fourth product, you click load more and it could load the fourth one and it still looks nice and clean. And then if you want to load the rest of the products, you could click load. So that's a nice way of organizing your columns. You could do it with two columns as well. And then if you had say two and then four, and then if you had a fifth one, you could load it up with the fifth column. Uh, so totally up to you how you do this. 
I think three looks pretty good. And so I like using that load more button uh, for the fourth product. So let's limit that back to four. But anyway, have a play around with that and get it to, set it to three, sorry. There we go. So play around with that however you want and get that setting uh, the way that you prefer. The other thing I like to remove is the reviews. If you've got a new website, it's gonna take a while to build up some reviews. All you have to do to turn that off is show product rating, set that to no, and that will clean that up. So if you like a more minimalist design or if you're just starting out and you don't have any reviews yet, probably start by turning that off. Next thing you probably wanna do is change the add to cart button to match the style of your website. So we go to style and we're going to look at the add to cart button styles there and the button background color. It's set to that grayish color there. Let's just bump it to blue. You can change it to any color you want using HTML. Um, let's just change it to blue for this example. And the hover color, we would change that as well. We've got the background color there. We can change it to say a light blue. So there we go. We've got a light blue and a darker blue for our add to cart button and the load more button is the same thing again we want the background color to be blue and and we want to change the hover color to a light blue there we go cool so that all matches up now and we're pretty good i think that has a little bit of a border around it so you could get rid of that as well if you wanted to let's go to border color and we could just make it white should we that's the hover color. Make the normal color. And we've got a border type. It's set to none for some reason. It's got a little border on it. So we can set that to solid and change that border color to white. There we go. Sometimes in Elementor, borders pop up where they shouldn't pop up. It might be theme related, who knows, but that all looks pretty clean now. I just set it to white because my background's white and that looks all good. The last thing I'll do is just add some white space, I think. You gotta have white space as a designer. Nothing beats a bit of white space. You're on the internet, white space is free. It's not like a newspaper, it's not like a magazine. You can put white space wherever you want. So that looks a bit more balanced. I think maybe, let's make it 100, be a bit more luxurious. Cool, all right, so that is a nice looking product page. You can see I did something similar there earlier, but that's exactly how I did it. So I hope that's really useful. You can make a nice product page and I hope you agree it looks a lot cleaner than what they give us by default in uh, WordPress, WooCommerce. Yeah, look at this thing. There's nothing we can do about it unless we buy the pro version of Elementor or follow this tutorial. So. Uh, one more thing I want to do. We are still stuck with the shop page on this slash shop. So what I want to do is redirect any links to the shop page to the new product page that we just built in Elementor. Now, it's not too hard to do. Only takes a second. Let's get started. So we're back in our dashboard under plugins and add new. We're going to search for a redirection and go ahead and install and activate this one called redirection. It has a million active installs. So it's really one of the more essential plugins you should use on your WordPress install. Go ahead and activate that one. As soon as that's active, you'll get under your tools, you'll get a redirection option down there. So go ahead and click that one. Now here I've already set up a redirect that redirects anything that goes to shop, it redirects me to the products page. I'll show you how I did that. So let's just go ahead and delete that one here and we'll make a new one from scratch. So we go to redirections and add new. We want the source, we want it to be uh, the shop and we want to match all parameters in any order and the target URL is our products page. So that's icare.au slash products. And the only thing we wanna do with that is click this little down thing and we wanna ignore the slash and we want to ignore cases. So any links, doesn't matter if it has slashes or cases or whatever, it's gonna redirect anything from shop to products there. So that was the page that we actually built in Elementor earlier. That was this one, it's called products. And in the redirection settings here, it'll redirect to that products page. So anything from shop will go to products. And then all we have to do is uh, click add redirect. And there we go. So now when we try to go to our shop page, we should end up getting pointed over to our products page. There we go. So we're basically all done. Uh, anytime we go to say our cart and we end up in our um, view the cart. So WooCommerce will put links to the shop page all over the place basically. So if you go to your, um, let's say we delete whatever in, what is ever in our cart, it'll say return to the shop. 
instead of taking us to the WooCommerce shop, it'll direct us over to our products page that we made in Elementor and we can make that however we want. You all are familiar with how to use Elementor because you've all watched my previous videos, of course. And if you haven't, click subscribe and check those out because super easy, super fun. And make sure you hit subscribe as well because I've got another method of doing this which might even be better than this method. So stay tuned for that one. But hopefully this has been useful. It's a nice, quick, simple video. Um, hope it helps building your e-commerce store. I know a lot of you are starting from scratch and you want to keep prices down. You want to keep your costs to a minimum. You don't want to buy um, you don't want to buy Elementor Pro just yet because, um, let's face it, um, not all of us have that sort of money lying around to build a website. We want to try and do it for free. So this is how you do it. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time.